Well, boys and girls, here we are again back with another Daisy adventure, and I decided to take on an insane journey for this one. A journey that I've yet to see in the Daisy community. With the successful plays that we made also came with a lot of downfalls, but that didn't stop me from completing my mission on the server. However, there's no other way to start an adventure than by my very first spawn on the coast. Uh, well, everybody, welcome back to good old Daisy. And you know we got a little spicy adventure for y'all today, man, as always. And this one is going to be a little bit more different than the typical adventures that we get into. So basically, Nazar is on this server, but we're going to try and do our own separate things, bruv, if you know what I mean. So basically, we're going to play together. But I can tell you now, probably majority of this video is going to be a solo adventure. And then it's, it's going to be like half, right? Half of this is going to be a solo adventure. And then half of this is going to be with him. Now he's already been playing on this server. As you guys could see in my last video, I actually kind of mentioned that. So Nazar already has a base down, but the thing is I kind of want to go ahead and make my own. And apparently his main goal is to is to build on this like island thing, which is actually really interesting. So his plan is that he's going to be making some type of boat base. And I was like, huh, an island you say? Well, maybe I go ahead and like, you know, build an ocean village or something out there connect our bases together and you know let's see how this works we both try to get our own little different stories going but also try to make plays together i don't know man i'm kind of excited about this one so i guess we'll see what happens well like you heard another good adventure with my boy nazar except we're going for two separate stories this time to make it a lot more interesting this was really different from what we've done before and i thought it could turn out to be kind of cool but before we dive deep into the content let's have a word with today's sponsor Today's video is sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. Ray Shadow Legends is literally one of the most popular RPG mobile games you could possibly get with over 80 million players. What's even more crazy is that it's completely free to play. You can take it easy and play against bosses on the campaign mode which allows you to level up your champions and lets you unlock a lot of goodies for free. Or better yet, you can compete against real players taking on a challenge and learning some great strategies with becoming a great warrior in the game. I can say my favorite way to play is the campaign mode. It is the fastest way to level up your champions you can grind XP as well as get a lot of silver and even some artifacts all at the same time. I feel like the reason why people should play Raid is because there's endless content, the champions look so good and the graphics are just insane. It's literally like PC and console graphics except it's on a mobile game. Raid has some crazy stuff happening right now at this specific moment. They've recently released a legendary champion based off the MMA pro wrestler the one and only Ronda Rousey. Anyone can get her for free right now. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and February 20th and you'll be able to unlock and use Ronda Rousey. Not only that but but to celebrate her coming into the game, you can also use the special promo code Raid Ronda, regardless if you're an older player or newer player, and get a lot of goodies like a 3 day 100 XP boost, 500,000 silver, and 5 full energy refills. Raid has also prepared a Christmas special for you newer players, because if you download Raid from my link in the description or by using the QR code, you can copy your player ID from in-game and then go to the website 12daysofraid.playerium.com. You'll be able to experience new chapters of this winter story and experience new mini games that have a chance with winning insane prizes for in-game or even real life, including holiday theme Raid champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. For you OG players, don't think Raid is leaving you guys out. Head to that same website where you can also find a special holiday promo code that everyone can use for smaller gifts as well. The website will be in the description so you guys can get started today. Raid is honestly the best mobile game out there and I truly believe you guys watching right now will enjoy it yourself. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click the link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen and you'll be able to get some nice bonuses worth up to $30. Literally a free epic champion, Anaya, 200k in silver, one energy refill, an XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon a dope champion as soon as you start playing the game. All that treasure will be waiting for you here. This offer is only available for 30 days so click that link or scan the QR code to get started today. Thank you to Ray Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video but I think it's time to get back into our story. But as always, we need to go get looted up, man. So let's try to go get a little bit of loot. Maybe try to make some plays on some of these people. We are on, we are on 28, so um, you guys know what that means. That it's a base here, bro. Wait, what the? F I 
I don't know what the fuck is going on here, man. Uh, this must be their main base here. That's probably like a garage or something. But yeah, we are on 28, so you guys know what that means, man. And if you don't know what that means, it means dudes are demons on the server. And they do not care, man. Let's just say that, bro. They don't care. They are going to be running around five deep trying to slaughter you with Juggernaut Vest on and Tappers. Let's go grab us some gear, Chief. So I am going to let you guys know um, there's going to be a lot of content that I don't show with them just to try to uh, make it a little bit more organic, if you know what I mean. Just because I don't want to I don't want to copy and paste the entire video, right? Like, I don't want us to have the exact same video, which is why we're kind of doing this. And you know what? We actually might do this more often in the future. So let me know in the comments if you guys would prefer to see us play together, but also, you know, get a little bit of solo content by ourselves and kind of get our own little stories going on. But as well as like basically align stuff together, do a lot of soloing and try to go for our own content let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see that more often however i still need to give me some gear so i think i'm gonna go ahead and head to this camp down here see if i can make any plays down there oh my god what the fuck is this i mean there's just some stuff that you just cannot make up there's just some stuff some bases that you cannot make up this is all tier three, by the way. People are so rich on this server to the point that they just make tier three walls, even though it doesn't even matter if you use tier three walls or not, because you can't raid through walls. That is just disgusting. Disgusting, buddy. <sighs> Typical twenty eight days later, man. Oh. Wait, we trade it? We trade it, bro. This dude is loaded. Yeah, the gilly. Yeah, we did trade. No way, bro. I got me the goodies. Time to go. Wait, is this the boat trader? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is the boat trader. They got some nice boats, too. Oh, the fishing boat, man. Guys, remember the fishing boat. Y'all some OGs. Boats and hoes? Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind there. Maybe we'll have to cop our own boat as well. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, yeah, we're gonna have to get a boat anyways. Okay, man, we'll make that a little mission. Try to get a boat. So far, my run was doing all right, and after going back to my body and seeing that guy had a lot of goodies, I decided to head to the trader to make a slight sell run. Alright, so I made it to the safe zone. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell a few of these guns, and then, honestly, I think your boy is gonna try to go make some more plays real quick to see what I can make happen. Should go ahead and sell these guns, make some money, put that stuff in the, the good old ATM. Cairo is my daddy. Okay, buddy, really? Shout out to my boy Cairo, man. That dude is an OG in me. <laughs> Alright, got about 16,000, man. It's not too bad. I'll take it. And then made my way to the airfield to try and get a better vest, but unfortunately, I ended up dying. So I took a break for the day and got back on whenever I knew Nazar was in the server so I can link up with him and get to building my base. Uh, where'd you spawn at? Uh, Wadi Loco. Alright, I'm gonna respawn over there. I'm just running the safe zone because I got some guns I want to sell. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Guy in front of me. He's gone. Uh, this? Oh, straight at. Uh. 
There's no wide can open. There we go. I literally Bye. threw on my breath. This guy has a whole base building kit, by the way. I check him. Holy shit. What the f That's so much money. Code logs. Take as much as we can, dude. Right here. Anything good? Uh. <laughs> shrink oh. wrapper. These dudes have been farming. Yeah, you need that for weed. Oh my god, a bunch of weed seeds. About to make a cell run real quick. Yeah, I'm just waiting over here for you when you're ready. We'll uh, I'll get the boat out and we'll go. There she is, the boathouse. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, like, just basically put it here anytime you want to pull it out or park it. And then use the machine here. I don't know if you can access this or not. So I was kind of thinking, like, building the base right here in front of the flag. Yeah. And then, like, doing the compound from... Like, my base, like, connecting to yours. Yeah, that'd be good. I think that would look good. Yeah. Then we can put some like RP shit on the side for the walls and do your thing, bro. However you do it, however you feel like it, it doesn't matter. All right, brother. Mahalo at you. Later. Good luck. We're not gonna start building until it gets daytime, but once it gets daytime, we're gonna go ahead and start knocking out the compound. But yeah, I'm gonna make another base here, probably a two by three, and then we're gonna be making a compound going from here to my base and connecting them both and have a little gate in the middle here. Um, entering the compound. And tomorrow, whenever I get on, we're gonna go ahead and put a bunch of greenhouses and, you know, swoop up the compound, make it look nice, and start our little drug farm, our little drug operation. Should look pretty cool, man. But yeah, I guess I'll just wait until daytime and then we're going to get the building, buddy. So it is daytime now, which means I have to get to work, buddy. So thankfully the tide is down really low. So I want to try to line it up with his, right? So I need to kind of like do it like this. Kind of do it like that. Yeah, that actually kind of looks cool. Okay, so I, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get to building this part first. Alright, so this is actually gonna look kind of cool. So basically, we're just gonna build a little house here. These two are gonna be decks. We'll probably put some like chairs up here, maybe some flowers and stuff. This one will be the front door here. So go ahead and put the door. All right, not too bad. So we'll kind of make that area like our operation part of the base. Cause they did a totally new update with the weed farm, like the weed farming. And now you need like hella different shit so we can use both of these sides here to do some stuff with that now the question is how am i gonna want to do this compound i could probably have it just come all the way out right
Nice, bro. Holy shit. This is insane, bruh. This actually looks so good. I wonder what it looks like from the outside. Let's take a look here. Literally a walled off community. It's pretty damn dope, man. Pretty damn dope. I like it. Can you come in here? We can definitely make this look really sick. No cap. So basically, the plan is, so I'm probably gonna fill this side up here with greenhouses. Then over here, we'll probably put some like decorations, maybe a gazebo. Um, I don't know, we'll probably decorate this side up a little bit, make it look nice. So with the new drug update, I'm not gonna go over this entirely because I kind of plan on making an entire video about this, but they did so much more to the new update with the drugs. I still need to learn it, so we're going to use this opportunity as a learning process with the new Drug Plus update. But this was some good progress today, I can tell you that much. But with that being the case, it's been a long day. And I think it's time for your boy to get off here. God, that looks so good, bro. I can't wait till tomorrow to see what it, what it all looks like whenever it's finished. Anyways, GG's today. GG's man, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Today was great progression with the base and I was pretty satisfied with how it was turning out to be. But we weren't entirely close with it being finished yet and I was hoping that the next day was going to be as satisfying as this one. But I guess we were just gonna have to wait and see. Well, we are not rated, buddy. And the tied up is hella high. What the hell? Anyways, I need to go make a a trader run because uh I need to buy a boat. Now I know Nazar has a boat as well, but I'm not gonna be using his, you know what I mean? I kinda wanna get my own and I've been stacking up some money so I can go ahead and get one. And right now, I can afford a cheap one. Gonna be kind of scary, though. But we need to do it one way or another, right? Um, so with that being the case, I'm gonna go ahead and start making my way. Um, except I'm gonna kill myself and spawn over there. Try to get kitted up there. Anyways, first things first, I guess let's go ahead and kill ourselves real quick. So maybe I buy the boat, lock that thing up, take it to the safe zone, and then run to the drug trader after that. Buy everything I need at the drug trader, and then take everything back to base. So we got about 220,000 in the bank. So take out 100K. Out of here, man. All right, we are now in the safe zone. Oh my god, it fucking worked. Okay. So now we got a power boat and a fishing boat. That's nice. Very nice. Okay, this is where things are about to get tricky, buddy.
That should be enough. Let's get out of here, bro. Oh my God, please let me make it back to safe zone with this. Get to these woods, man, please. God, there's another kid. No, no. And just like that, I lost everything. And to be honest, I was furious because I was literally only 120 meters away from the safe zone, literally 30 seconds away from being able to secure $100,000 worth of supplies for my operation. I mean, the timing just couldn't get any worse. Two completely geared guys running out the safe zone in my direction trying to take on this fight. I didn't try taking on the fight because I didn't think they would see me, but apparently they did, which left me dead in the end. The only thing that was keeping me on at this moment was Nazar, because during the process of me doing this run, I seen that he had got on. I was broke after losing all of this and thankfully Nazar was willing to help me. So after getting geared up and meeting with him, we decided to try and do this run one more time and I was really hoping and praying that we were going to be able to come out successful with this. So since Nazar is on, he's actually going to help me buy the stuff that I need. Let's just hope that it actually goes smoother this time than it than the last time I'm in, you know? You're... Hello. What's up? I'm gonna try to take this uh, gazebo. Just found a screwdriver. Ooh, yeah, that's actually, that's actually good for the base. Perfect for the base. That's literally what it needs. Put a little volleyball net in there too. Oh god. Put some beach volleyball in the water. She. Oh yeah, here. So how, how much do you need to? Uh, Let's go to the drug thing first. I want to get that done first. And then the, the boat will get last minute and we'll get out of here with the boat. How much do you need? Like 100k. Should I take a little bit extra just in case? No, uh, like 100k is perfect. All right, here you go. Come here. Hold that on you. It should be 100k. Wait, is this 100k? Let me see. Yeah, here. It be around 100k. Appreciate it, big man. All right, man. So I guess let's try this again. Now that I got Nazar with me, hopefully that this goes so much better and smoother. And it is about to get dark outside, which could be beneficial for us. Honestly, I just pray we do not die right here because if we die with this stuff, not lose this shit again, that is going to be such a tough L. Such a tough L. I guess let's see what happens. My God, you were literally right at the line of the safe zone. That's <laughs> disgusting. Oh, bro. Jeez. <gasps> Still quick in and out here. Grab this greenhouse. Oh, loady load. You fine. Success. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably go get that yacht real quick and I'll run back with the ticket. And then I'm going to spawn the yacht. I guess we'll try to take it out there while it's dark. Hopefully, we can get out without getting shot. Thankfully, we actually made it to the safe zone with all the stuff that we needed. We got the battery. We have everything that we need to get going. Now it's just all in a matter of making it back to base. This is the moment I've been waiting for, man. This yacht. I'm just going to live on the yacht, bro. I'm not even going to live at the base no more. Let's see what that thing looking like. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to throw it over here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. We came a long way from the old fishing boat, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> Bro, look at the inside. 
No way, bro. Where the Xbox at? Shit. <laughs> the Xbox? Yeah, we literally could play Xbox in the ocean. Shit. Imagine you could close the door and stuff. We got a little kitchen here. This is the living room right here. We got another couch, the TV. All right. It's time to go home. Well, the TV doesn't have any signal, but you know, it's better than nothing, you know? Yeah, you connect the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Switch to that. Get a Nintendo game. 64 on that bitch, play some Mario yeah. Karts. We're playing Mario Kart in the ocean, man. Far away from anybody. It's so sick, dude. Yeah, that's looking real nice. So we made it back, bro. This is all we needed to do, right? Go ahead and put this here. Okay, very nice. So we're gonna line these up over here. Okay, so we could only get three right now. I had four, but I couldn't carry the other one. Neither could Nazar. And I bought rope at the trader, but um, I guess rope is bugged on this server. Any, anytime you try to buy it, it's like invisible. Oh yeah, that looks pretty solid. Oh yeah, that looks so nice, bro. That looks really good. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. So with this being the case, so this is where we're gonna dry our weed over here and then our, this is gonna be our little workstation right here. I'm praying that this work, uh, this cannabis workbench is going to work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the baggies in right now and then we'll put the wrappers in. Okay, this is actually nice. Now we just need to do the same for the other two. This is actually looking really cool, man. So these are actually done. Oh, wow. Okay. So now I'll just come over here. Oh, shit. Literally went to the bathroom for a second and uh, they're already done. Okay. Then bring these bad boys over here. And we should now, am I? Oh yeah, so it works. Build bag with star dog, okay. So you don't even need the battery then anymore. Hello. Yo. Alright man, so the weed is in production right now. Good, good. And that thing gonna take a while, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I thought it grows quick. Well, the growing process is fast, but the, the actual production to uh, turn it into baggies and then going from baggies to bricks, it's gonna take a little while. So knowing that it was going to take a little while for the production phase, we wanted to go get into some other stuff while the machine was working. And Azar had two key cards that we wanted to do for some C4s. So after getting geared up, we started making our way to these locked rooms, hoping that we were going to get some boom. I'm hoping when you open that room, something spawns in because no shot, it's just like an empty room like that, you know? Yeah, with the fucking tundra. No way. Ellie? Very, yeah, get in the tree. He's just hovering still. What are you doing?
Alright, let's go. Bravo 6, move out. I'm praying nobody took it. Car, 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 car. He's right down this road. Oh, he's doing the dash. Should I take a shot? He should be dead. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Is it just solo? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that car's still going though. Good shooting, bro. Good job, good job. Oh, I thought we were gonna miss him, man. I think it's his base. What if? Oh. Oh. He's Stuck. stacked. He's got weed. Can you see the stuff? Yeah. Loot it, loot it, loot it, go. There we go. Oh, there is a crate. Uh, it's 2C4. Yeah, yeah. I'm grabbing them. But it's not honking like a horn off. That's really good. No key card, though. But we do have another one for this reason. So I'm hoping the next one we get lucky. If you want to go down to that town. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Sealed, we're in luck. Ooh. Uh, tier two car, yes, yeah, we got yeah. it. Okay. Uh I know where that goes. Do you want to run that right now? Yeah, we should, like bro. So that goes to Wadi Laco, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a police station in Wadi Laco. Yeah. It's here, alright. It's a big vault. All right, here goes nothing, buddy. Um, uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, not too shabby. It's something, I guess. To be honest, we were hoping to get the red card out of that room, but unfortunately we did not, which made us search for a base to raid, and Nazar had one in mind that we could potentially hit that we found earlier in our adventure. Yeah, it's just a wooden door still. Yesterday when you were boosting me, I did see there's a great locker and there was like, I think two storage boxes and those can't be locked, so that's kind of promising for us. I really doubt it's two doors. Yeah, from the looks of wait, it, wait, it's wait, just wait. that comms, one door. Comms. Is he in there? I thought I heard a footstep, sorry. It could have been me. No, but it didn't sound like it was you. Uh, it's probably, it probably was you. What were you saying, though? Uh, from the looks of the door, it looks like it's just one door. It's just I this guess. door right here. You know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start planting then. Alright, let's get it, bro. Here, do I plant one too, just to be faster? Because I think it takes a second. Yeah. Alright, ready? Yep. Off we go. I might just hold the woods here. Yeah, me too. It's awkward if he's on though and opens that door. It's gonna get real awkward. So loud. I know we might have company. Let's just be quick in and out. Okay, what do we got here? This is open. Empty locker. Not a good start, dude. Uh, t Ooh. that's Ooh. the weather mode for building. Holy shit. 400 nails. Get the cold locks. All right, let's slide. 
That base was a slight come up for sure, but we wanted to get into something even more interesting. There was a base outside the drug trader that we found whenever I was trying to buy the materials for my operation. Considering it was right next to the drug trader, we had a feeling that this was going to be a nice space to hit. So after a while, we started making our way over to try and raid this base. All right, I guess we're heading that way then. Yes, sir. I'm doing a raid, full pop, right next to the drug trader, man. It's gonna be crazy. About to get real interesting. Yeah. Yeah. If we lose these C4s. In front of us, in front of us, guy coming. Market, market. Right there. He sees us, I think. I killed them, I killed yeah, them. Dead, dead. Good shooting, bro. Them dudes are gonna come over here. Getting shot at. Don't know where from. It's dead. It's a freshie, right? Uh huh. Imagine camping outside a fucking safe zone, bro. With a pea shooter. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Did he like just spawn there? What's the case with this dude? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spawn a safe zone and just try to make plays 24 7. He's in the bush. This dude, I think he's getting his gear. Yeah, that hatch is closed. He's been back. No way. Mm -hmm. I'm worried you go through this door, then you gotta break that hatch, and then it might be another door on each side, because you can see the, the wall or whatever sticking through, but we won't know until we get in there. Yeah, I definitely see walls in there, bro. Yeah, I see one sticking on top. Ah, it's definitely got to be another door right there for sure. Do you want to try it anyway? I mean, yeah, we can go for it. See if we can get partial gear out of it at least, just get something out of it. Let's do it quick. Oh, if he's in there, he's about to shit his pants. He was about to call on the troops. Yeah, Blackhawk's about to just drop in, rope 10 people on down. I swear, man. Oh, Wait, that's not good, bro. I didn't know there was a door here. Oh, no locks. Oh, shit. We got a weed operation? No, oh, no lock. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's nothing up here. This is just like... There's really nothing here. So I think this is the last door. I'm gonna check downstairs real quick. Give me a sec. I'm gonna close this gate. There's a body bag here. He killed himself. It is a drug bag. Oh. Wait. No way. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at here. Ooh. We gotta go. We gotta stash this, bro. F this. We gotta stash. Everything. Oh, the money. I know. I the know. money. He literally has more growing right now. <laughs> yeah, he's probably on mine. Here, put the bag down. I'll start filling it. That's good shit, man. Put the cash up. Do you need these bags? The baggies, I mean? Yeah, take them just in case. I'm gonna just put my weapon back down too. Look at all the seeds he had. It's actually gross. Oh, we don't have to. So wait, 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 wait. I'm in. Come around. This door was wide open. Like I just opened it. I think this is what we were gonna raid just from the other side. Two yellow key cards. Ooh. <laughs> what? My fucking headphones came off. You see the syllables? Oh, it's deer. He's here, he's here, he's here. It's two. We're gonna just camp it, I think. I have a grenade. Oh, I killed one. 
Killed one, killed one, full gear. You good? He was bro. in this corner. I killed one as well. That should be two. That dude is geared, bro. bro. I He's literally so thought you just fucking ran in front of me and I thought I just no, killed no, no, you, no, bro. No. I don't know where you who you killed. This dude was fucking wow, you're bad. But we need to get out of here. Where is he at? Oh my god, they got Barrett's right here. He's in this corner. I literally turned on him. Yeah, you loot him, I'm gonna hold. Hold, hold, hold. He's fing stacked. AS fifties and shit, man. You killed the other one outside? I had, there was two inside, bro. I killed one inside. I'm gonna try to open this. Open and then move to the left. I think I seen one in the tree. Hold on. Okay, go, go, go. I didn't. I didn't. Let's go. I'm gonna drop the barter goods here and I'll go sell. I'll take this big bag. Okay. Holy f If you see what I did to that dude. Bro. <laughs> Wait till you see the clip of. I, I swear you ran in front of me, bro, and I thought I fing killed you. How did you kill that dude down there? Was he just sitting I had, in that I had a bottom? nasty peek, bro. I did not even know how you killed him. That's good, good moves, bro. Yo. We'll take that any day. Alright. Sell it. Tell me how much you make. <laughs> it's about to be a lot, buddy. Let's just say All that. Right. 930,800. 1 million plus on that raid? That's profit. That's hella profit. Only two homemates, too. Oh, we made it! We Let's made go. it! Oh my god. GG's, man. Let's go. Oh my fing god. I, I got you so many baggies, dude. Come here, real quick. Yeah, what you got? You wanna see what I got? Yeah, maybe. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me show you a little something though. Check that. Check that. Check oh that. Oh my lord. <laughs> God, bro. <laughs> it's never ending. I know. I can definitely say that's a nice raid to end it on for sure, especially for a 2c4 raid. We headed back to our base with a smile on our face after this, and it's even more exciting for the fact that they came back and we had to fight for the loot. It truly doesn't get any better than that. Unfortunately, every story has an ending though, and this is where Nazar ended his and I was shortly going to follow, but I had to admire the village one last time before I decided to take flight. I'll see you again, old friend. All right, my Somewhere boy. else. Have some safe travels, man. I'll never Thanks. forget the times of the Ocean Village. Me neither, man. I'll see you later. There he goes. Well, I guess it is what it is, boys. That being said, we are not done with the Ocean Village just yet. What an adventure this has been so far, man. What an adventure. Hey, yeah, that's not too bad. Put that there. Grab us a little fireplace. Looks pretty solid. Okay, buddy. Damn, take a look at that. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm kind of glad that I actually recorded on this server. Because I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, let's just say the start to this adventure was god awful to the point that I was just not even gonna record. Until things started picking up and I was... You know, I was like, okay, maybe I should go ahead and record and, you know, try to get my own little side story going on as well. Kind of glad that I got my own little story with it as well. Doing this village here, the Ocean Village. I mean, it turned out to be so nice, man, right? You know, it's been a hell of a journey here, man. I mean, God, bro, this is, so, this is just so cool, bro. But truth be told, every adventure got to end somewhere, right? And knowing what we have accomplished so far... I think it is only right to take our adventure somewhere else. But 
But I guess that's until then, man. And it's sadly the village. There's always another better journey out there, man. 